Sharia is very, very important to all Muslims in the world. Well, this started from our Prophet Abraham alayhi salam and it transferred to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. It's four kilos, that's how it is. Uh, now let's pour it in, inside. Uh -huh. So every individual takes four kilos. This is Sunnah. This is Sunnah. This one is not composed. Like if you, you can't afford to slaughter sheep or goat, that one is We are here today by four. The day of celebration of Eid al Adha. Today we distributed meat for the all the needy people. We are here, Direct Aid Society, international NGO based in Kuwait. This is our annual program we do every year. We slaughtering cows and distributed meat for all the people. So this year we slaughtering 300, uh, 330 cows in all the regions of Ghana. The cost of this program is 2,500,000. We supported all the needy people, all the poor villages, and we give cows and coupons for all the leaders, all the chiefs, all the imams, so they can help us to organize the people and uh, service in their community. We serve all the people without any discrimination. Direct aid society based, no conflict in religion, no conflict in politics. So we hope all the people who come to us today in direct aid center to be happy and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all of them and bless all the people of Ghana. Thank you for the government of Ghana so much. We have targeted 1,300 1, uh, beneficiaries and thank God, uh, alhamdulillah, we are almost done more than 1,500. The day before yesterday, we distributed for the chiefs, imams, uh, leaders. For Some people are coming from far, from village, so they cannot come for five or four kilograms of meat. So that's why we give to the leaders representing direct aid to, to distribute the meat in their villages instead of their suffering to come using the transport and cost them a lot of money. After we buy the cows, we have a veterinary team to come and check. As you see today, whole day they were with us because we want to uh, save, serve the, the community, uh, save meat because as you know, there is a lot of uh, transmission disease which can easily transfer. We don't want to hurt the people while we are ta targeting or helping the people. So that's why we invited the veterinary. So after the veterinary checked, as you see, we cut the mist into pieces and then we weight it and put in the direct aid uh, logos, papers, uh, yeah, robots. Then we distribute it and uh, basically we inform for the needy people in the, their communities, uh, in the mosques and neighbors to come and uh, benefit through our, through our, uh, some of workers, uh, chiefs, imams, community leaders and so on. It, it is uh, important to the Islamic religion because whenever you do this sacrifice, at least by next year you are more than, you'll be more than this. Because it's very, very important. People use their money, if you had money or you are doing business and you have, they call something zakat, you get it. When you remove it, if you had at least about, they said 15%, the 15%, whatever you have, if you have billions and you took 15%, you can make people rich. There are orphans, there are widows, there are a lot of people. There are people who are moving, you see them correct, but they don't have it. So if you have it, you must also see to it that these are people which you can also help. You understand it? So that that is what God wants, that is what our prophets, and then Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, teach us, you know, to do. We want to thank the direct aid under the leadership of the, the director, Sami, and then the, all the staffs, and the center director, and their bosses outside. At least this is something which is helping everybody, not Medina alone, Medina and its surrounding. Well, we visit family, we celebrate, we make merry, eat together and all that. We will be forever grateful to them. Each and every year they've been doing this for us, so we thank them so, so much. And then may Allah keep increasing um, um, their wealth and then health for them to continue this. It's a special day, it's a great day, because the system has come tough for people. People cannot make it. So when they are gain something from this, and it's very appreciating. So we are trying to tell them they should continue 
doing it to people and all mankind. Almighty Allah should bless them. If the other, if the future, all the time, they are in the need of people. They try to bring the community into their homes back. They don't feel like they are needless. They are hopeless. No, because of direct aid, they try to put people back to life. We appreciate everything from them. We thank them. May Allah continue to bless them. Directed is focus on education. Uh, that's why we have more than eight uh, eight schools in Ghana: primary JHS and SHS in uh, Mercy Social Centre, which is Accra, and in Komasi Primary and JHS, Cape Coast Primary and JHS, and in Tamale Primary and JHS and Secondary School. So when you see the number of the projects uh, concerned of the education, the direct aid has is eight. So that one will show direct aid one to work more on education and at the same time we have a boarding school more than 1,000 students in Ghana and I have in Mid Social Center 179 students we took them as a boarding school uh, we educate them and we fulfill for them everything starting from the uniform, food, stationery, medication and so on. All is for free, all is for free and for the needy peoples for the needy peoples. So that's what Direct Aid is, has been doing more than 30 years in Ghana, and uh, but uh, we can say 75% uh, in Africa. at our website graphic.com.gh or follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. Subscribe now.